Hi again. So a question this time is finding the greatest common factor of these three polynomials. And so as the girl did in the video, she explained you got to do the, you factor each of the numbers first, uh, separate from the polynomials. And, and you're just, again, the whole idea is you're just breaking this down as much as you can. Um, so starting with 50, um, and again, the way I do it is like this. 50, we'll start with prime number 2. Yep, that works. Uh, but 25 cannot be divided by 2 evenly, and it cannot be divided by 3 evenly. But 5 works. If you 25 divide 5 is equal to 5. So... This, this, and this are the factors, the prime factors of 50. So for that equation, it's 5, 2, sorry, 5, 5, and 2. Likewise, we can do this for 25. We kind of already did it here. But yeah, 25, it doesn't divide evenly by 2 or by 3, but it does divide by 5. So those are 2. So that's for equation number, or sorry, polynomial number 2. And now the third one wanted us to do it for 125. 125. Now, we could get a calculator and try to divide it by 2. Won't work evenly. 3 won't work. Again, 5 works. So Usually you can do this with a calculator if it once you get to bigger numbers or you know if you're really good at math you can just do that in your head but in any case this is easy. 125 divide 5 is equal to 25 and again we've already done that one so that only divides evenly by 5. The answer is 5 and we've that's a prime number so these are three factors. 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. 5, 5, and 5. So that we've done the numbers. Now let's do it for the letters. So as she showed in the video, it's really easy. Literally just write them down the amount of times that there are for exponents. So 2x's, 2y's, and 2z's. And this one is 2, the next one is 2x's. 4y's and 3z's. A lot of writing. Um, and the last one is 3x's, 2y's, and 3z's. And then the last step, once you're at here and you have it all expanded out, is to simplify down. And so we're taking what's common, what's the greatest common factor between these. So starting here, they all have, we'll just circle them off. They all have five in common. Write that down. Again, they all have five in common. So that's five and five. Two, well, none of the others have two. Um, and there's, okay, so we can't, so that we don't include that. X, yep, there's one X. Um, another X, yep, they all have another X to give. Perfect, so that's two X's. Okay, Y's, yep, they all have a Y. Do they all have another Y? Yep, they do. Y, Y, Y. Why, why, why am I solving these problems? <laughs> Z. Uh, yeah, they all got Z's. Do they have another Z? Yep, they all do. But look, um, there's some leftovers, right? There's these two Z's here, but this one didn't have a third Z to give. Likewise, there's these two Y's here, but 
the other two polynomials didn't have enough y's, so they don't have that in common. So there's a couple things in here that we're going to have to leave out because they don't have it in common. But these are the common factors we're left over, and we have to simplify them. So it's actually really straightforward. 5 and 5, multiply those, 25, x times x, x squared, y times y, y squared, and z times z, or z, 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 whatever, z squared. That's your answer. That's the greatest common factor of these.